Breaking news, Sean Manaya has signed with the New York Mets, guys. Yes, the Mets have made a signing to their starting rotation, surprisingly. But yeah, guys, this is all this message where you your latest Mets media. Definitely do me a favor, leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you're new. Let's get into today's topic. And that is going to be the Mets signing Sean Manaya to a two-year, $28 million deal. This is... Uh, a big signing for the New York Mets because they really didn't have a lot of starting rotation options. We know that the rotation is Kodai Senga, you know, Quintana, Adrian Hauser, Luis Severino, but they didn't really have somebody else. You know, they were looking at many options like Frankie Montas. They were looking at, you know, um, definitely different options uh, like Lucas Giolito, but that just didn't work out for them. You know, they signed with some other teams. And the Mets ended up going with uh, Sean Manaya, a lefty pitcher. You know, definitely a guy that, you know, has been pretty okay. He's gotten himself into a better place than he was. Um, I'll tell you this, Sean Manaya, two-year, $28 million deal. Uh, what I would say about him, Sean Manaya, this is a two-year deal, but he has an opt-out. Right after the 2024 season, there's an opt-out. So if Sean Manaya pitches good and he wants to go to another team or he wants to go into free agency um, again, then he definitely can get another deal. So if he pitches really, really good with the Mets, he can get another deal. But what I would say about Sean Manaya is he is a guy that did have a four-point-something ERA, you know, in 2023. But he improved because at a point... In 2023, he had a six point something ERA, and then he decided, you know, to introduce a sweeper. So, a sweep slider pitch that really had really good results. It brought his ERA down to four point something. Um, so, Sean Manaya has that sweeper now, which is good, had a really good whiff rate, and also worked with you know the mechanics and his mechanics and got his fastball velocity from 88 to 90 to 92 to 96 miles per hour so big big news you know for the mets to sign a guy like this guy you know sean manaya uh this could be an under the radar signing you know we know that david stearns really does research on these guys he is a, a baseball mind one of the, the most intelligent minds, I would say, in baseball that the Mets have in their system. So I know that a lot of moves have been under the radar. You know, maybe some moves don't look good. Maybe the Mets fans don't understand it. But this guy right here, I feel this is a good signing for the New York Mets. You know, I feel like this is an under-the-radar signing. Uh, you know, he has a really good sweeper. He has good velocity on his fastball now. And at a point, he could be a really, really good pitcher in 2024. It could flop, but it could be really, really good for the Mets as well. So I definitely think that the Mets needed somebody in the rotation. Um, obviously, after looking at many other options, um, they missed out on Yamamoto. They missed out on Giolito. They missed out on Frankie Montas. So they ended up getting this guy for two years, 28 million. You know, um, not a lot of money. And that's what I like about the deal. You know, it's not a lot of money. It's two years. So if he pitches really, really good, he could opt out and, you know, go into free agency. But he could stay with the Mets if he wants. You know, so I definitely think that this is a good signing for the New York Mets. We know that the Mets needed somebody in the rotation. They needed somebody in the rotation, especially after David uh, Peterson going down, um, you know, having hip surgery and not going to be available until, you know, later on in the year. So I definitely think Sean Manaya is a big, big signing for the New York Mets. Let me know what you guys think about Sean Manaya. Are you guys excited about this signing? Do you see, you know, some potential in this signing? Or are you not happy? Are you disappointed in the signing? Um... Are there more moves left for the New York Mets? We know that, you know, they've had some interest in J.D. Martinez. I would love to see them have some interest in Jorge Soler, a David Robertson type, or, you know, uh, you know, um, what's it called? The Jordan Hicks. You know, I definitely think that the Mets aren't done. They want to make more moves. But David Stearns is doing what he can for this team. It's a new outlook going into 2024. We saw the, the you know, them spend so much money for the previous two years but this year in 2024 this is going to be a big year for the new york mets um you know they might even perform better than they did in 2023 and they did not have a really good season in 2023 so 
when it comes to the Mets, uh, Sean Manaya, I think this guy is going to be a really good pitcher for the Mets. I, I like him. Um, I like that sweeper. The fact that he has a really good whiff rate on it, um, you know, and he got a lot of strikeouts and he brought his ERA down from a six point something to a four point something ERA. That's a big, big thing. That's not a little, little thing. So, and the fastball velocity, not a lot of guys get their fastball velocity when they get older up. So the fact that he got his fastball velocity up, that's a big, big thing also. So let me know what you guys think about Sean Manai. I see some potential in this signing. I really think that this guy is going to be good for the rotation. Um, I, li I like Kodai Senga. I like Quintana. And I like Sean Manaya. I also like Adrian Hauser. And Luis Severino, I think that he's going to have a bounce back year. But these are the options that the Mets have right now. Maybe they are going to make more moves for pitching. But this is the options. I really wanted to see Mike Vassell get a chance at the rotation spot. I don't know if when the Mets, after making this signing, if Vassell does get a shot, you know, um, in the rotation at all. Um, it, maybe spring training, he's going to impress uh, David Stearns and maybe he'll get a shot. But I definitely think that, you know, this rotation has potential. I, I, I know that it's not the pretty rotation with Yamamoto, um, you know, Kodai Senga and, you know, Quintana. It's not the Yamamoto. It's not the big rotation. It's not the Dylan Cease. Maybe the Mets will go for Dylan Cease. Maybe the Mets will still make a trade for a guy like Dylan Cease. Or, you know, I definitely think that that is in the ballpark for the New York Mets. If they really want to make a trade for Dylan Cease, I think they're going to go after him. But if David Stearns wants to, you know, take a step back, you know, just focus on these guys, maybe under the radar signings, maybe they will, you know, be bounce back guys. I definitely think the rotation has potential. Let me know what you guys think. That's going to be the end of the video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. I love you guys so much. I appreciate you guys. Let's go Mets. LFGM for life. You know what it is. And yeah, man, Sean Manaya to the New York Mets. I'm out of here.